a lot of programs that wouldn't work if that ran out um, and it would become very, very expensive, even more expensive than it is now to operate on the Ethereum um, network. So uh, all I do, I'll come here, look at what's been gaining the past 30 days, right? Uh, and then I'll go look at the market caps. Um, I'll find me some that are above 100. Oh, okay, this is above 100 market cap and I'll do research on it. Not just going to jump into it just because. Like I'll start to do research on it, put it on my radar. But 100 million market cap is nothing um, at all. Um, so you want to start looking at those that, you know, maybe in the 200, right? 200 million, this coin is on my radar. Badger Dow, um, 933% for the past uh, 30 days, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, that would've got you a three uh, X, you know, well, three doubles out of it. It's a, almost a 10 X. Um, but yeah, you, that's how you start to put these coins on your radar on um, you know what, what to look for, what programs they're working on, um, how is the project just moving along pretty much. Um, and yeah, like this Morpheus network, this is on my radar, my radar. Um, they are a, it's a pretty good project. Um, so this is how I go through it. And of course, once you get in the bigger ones, uh, the billions, uh, those are your larger caps. So to see a large cap, a $2 billion project gained 700% in the past 30 days, you know, that's very promising. That's very, um, damn, I missed another trade. I missed my entry to a trade for a poker start, but whatever. Um, yeah, when things are popping off like this, that's great. Uh, let's look, yeah, so Dogecoin, another coin with infinite um, supply. Market caps are already that big, nine billion. Um, so a lot of people is throwing money into this and for good measure, you got 700 something percent out of it, great. But it's gotten too big that there's no more room for improvement. Look at this versus looking at this, similar in percentage gains in 30 days, right? But this still has roughly four times to go to reach this market cap. So this can go four times the price to reach the same level um, where Dogecoin is at. That's how you have to look at it. Um, let's do one more. AVAX, like I told y'all, been pumping really hard. Um, so that's that. Let's go back to the charts real quick because what, what one did I miss? It's too many coins just going crazy right now. Um, uh, so, oh, this poker starter, if the charts would load, yeah. I want it down here as my entry because I miss, I have some of this already, so it's fine. I just wanted to uh, add some profits into it. Um, but I keep missing my my tops. Um, when they broke out of here and was pulling back, my entry top was here and it just came so close to it. Uh, that's why I usually put my, my prices um, right above where I really want to get in at, just to make sure that I get in at it. But I was getting, I was getting pretty greedy with this one um, to try to get into it, but it it's already gone, but that's quite all right. All right, so Energy Web Token, they are in cahoots with Tesla. I'm telling y'all, for their batteries, get y'all some of Energy Web Token. Um, stack up on that because it has not made a move yet. Um, against B BTC, it just came out of its its double bottom. Uh, no, and. Yeah, it's at the bottom of its channel right now. Uh, and this is a massive project. Mm -hmm. So EWT, um, that's on your radar. Make sure it's there. And what exchange can we buy it on? 
I'll get to that point. One second. All right, so so I bought into this project years ago. It's the reason why it's still on my thing, and this thing's just been selling. <laughs> so things like this can and will happen. Um, I was very promising on this project because essentially they were a group that was working on facial recognition on the uh, um, cameras um, for different government agencies and shit like that. Regardless on how uh, against you are to certain things, I'm not opposed to making money. But this thing just kind of went sour. So I have to see what, what's up with that project. Fun fair, I just got some from some airdrop. Um, yeah, and it, it's already doing this. Um, let's put the system on for the daily. Yeah, it's called a buy at uh, roughly four tenths of a cent. But again, it's not until, you know, BTC starts popping off that uh, things start to move. Let me give you all some more. So GRT. Um, yeah, get your entries on GRT because this thing can, like GRT can easily be a $20 coin. Um, it's at $1.59 right now. Well, $1.90. 95 um there's the daily um so this thing still has a lot of room to grow it was kind of overhyped but they did step like you know they stepped up to the plate and delivered on their projects so that's good hacker is a good ass project hacker finance um most of these coins that i have on here they are working in the decentralized finance space that is the space that is helping all of these big big companies come into crypto. That's why all these most of these coins that I showed you either already popped off crazy or are about to do the same. Um, most of these coins they use one another because it's the whole it's a whole ecosystem. The decentralized ecosystem it uses one another. Um, so coins will partner with other coins to get the job done. And essentially, for you as investors. You invest in both um, and they both, you know, increase in value. So uh, Hacker is a good one uh, to get into right now. Uh, HBAR. So this thing came out of its bottom. This is against BTC. Let's quickly look at this. And yeah, I'm not charting. Um, anything um i just quickly look at the chart to see what it's doing but um i'd invite you guys to get on the charts and look at these things and, and make your markups uh so it seems like we're, we're we've got our double bottom on the daily with these two points on um h graph and we're starting to make our move up of course it did it you know, after it broke some resistance, as you can see, um, it's retesting that. Um, found some support, it seems like. Um, and we should be off to the races. Yeah, so we, we had the close sell here. Uh, yeah, we're getting all of our buys and such here. So it's only a matter of time until this thing shoots up. So HBAR, Hedera Hashgraph, um, get that on your radar. All right, moving on, ICX. So ICON, I already noticed things been moving. Of course, against BTC, gone. Uh, I mean, against USD, it's gone. Uh, but against BTC, we're just now coming out of <laughs> the bottom. So we still have some, you know, we got, we're at a major resistance zone right now. Um, let's see if we could break through that. And of course, eventually, once we break through all time highs, we just see this thing fly on the USD side. Um, of course, find your entries on the USD side. Um, you know, do your fibs, do whatever you got to do to find your entries. Um, but it really won't matter if you got in at a dollar twenty or a dollar fifty. 
if the thing's at $40. Um, so that's the way you, I kind of look at it. Um, so index, I don't have any of this yet. It's just, it just got put on my radar. Um, I didn't know about this coin until now. So I'm just kind of waiting to see what this thing do. It's coming up on, I had an entry around here, but it didn't fill. So I re-entered it for a little higher, but, uh, um, I just put a little dabble in here, but, um, this is a really good, uh, program, a good coin. Um, it's working, it's again, working on that DeFi space and overall what DeFi is doing is everything that happens in the traditional financial world is moving into crypto. So all of that money and, and, and you know, whatever sectors, whether it was Forex or whether it was dowries or uh, remittances where people send money across, you know, back home to, to their home countries and stuff like all of that is moving to crypto. These coins and these uh, companies, they're just building the the infrastructure, the infrastructure for um, these traditional firms to be able to use these programs without much of a um, you know, learning curve. So all of this is very exciting to get into. All right, so IoT X, I was very bullish on this thing early on, but it, it kind of didn't do much of anything, just been moving sideways, but it's showing some life, right? It's showing some life. Um, of course, we have to look at it against BTC. It's still dead against BTC. It came out that little bottom. So that's why it caused this on the USD side. But if you can see like that move is minuscule in comparison, yet it made such a huge jump on the USD charts. So imagine once it does that, right? It goes all the way back up. So that's what we're looking for on IoT. Um, it, it's still on my radar. I'm just looking for some major news, major partnerships. I do have to check on what they've been working on lately, uh, just to see their progress before I throw in some more money. But um, IoT, I put that on your radar for sure. Now, Kava. Kava is a really good project. Um, about to break all-time highs. I've been in this thing uh, for a little while. So, um, it's about to break all time highs on that. It just now came out of the pits on the BTC thing, on the BTC side. This is where it has to go back to, which is, you know, still, what's that? 3,000% away to just getting back to the all time high. So uh, this thing will fly ridiculously, like you see with these other coins. So, Kava for sure. Um, get that on your list. So KuCoin shares, for those of you guys that do use KuCoin, you do need some KuCoin shares tokens. Um, it does help with the transaction fee. Uh, how KuCoin does it is you have to enable it in your account, uh, but how they do it is they uh, essentially the fee that you pay, um, the fees that you pay to withdraw or to trade with, um, they will recoup you, I believe, 80% of that fee, but back in KuCoin share tokens. So, um, you know, you're, you're going to get that money back in a sense, but in their tokens, which is, you know, a, a ploy to get their tokens to be used. And of course, uh, it's, it's a centralized exchanges token but so is BNB and, but BNB is doing a lot with their token. So it, it's only fitting that it's at a hundred something knowledge right now, but KuCoin is looking to do the same. Um, they're staking now, they're uh, doing the fees back, they're doing different uh, margin trading as well. So when a coin like this has utility, it's being used in something, um, you know, even if the thing that made Binance is so popular was the fact that they have a Binance uh, DEX as well as a Binance um, 
uh, Binance chain where they launch different tokens from them. Um, so with all of those operations, you have to use the BNB token. So it's it's only fitting to see it. Where's it at right now? One hundred and twenty three dollars. First time I got into this thing was eight dollars. And so for it to be at one hundred and twenty three dollars is ridiculous. All right, so keeper. Um, this again, um, when you see it paired against a BNB token like this, you can know that it's a Binance chain um, coin that it came out of that ecosystem or it was launched in that ecosystem. And because Binance coin has been going up, uh, Keeper against that Binance pairing has been going down. Um, but against USD, it's on an uptrend, right? It's on an uptrend because the US dollar is, yeah, taking a beating. Um, so I would put this on the radar because once this start to reverse back up, uh, you could really see this USD value, uh, this USD um, price really shoot up into the thousands, um, you know, like no other really. Uh, let's see if we have enough data for calls on here. Yeah. Um, so we're getting some buys here, but I'm not going to be excited until, you know, it, it starts to break some of these high, um, these lows or, you know, start making some real movement against the BNB token. Another project, Kusama, really, really good project. This is a long-term type of hold. Um, <laughs> it's already been going crazy against the US dollar, but same narrative across the board, right? Um, October, November timeframe, it's at $20, <laughs> $20. So, against BTC, right, that same um, October, November time frame, uh, it did a little double bottom, it shot up, but of course we know Bitcoin took off, so made another little bot double bottom at a lower time frame before shooting up, um, and we're just watching this pattern uh, over and over again um, as it's making gains, but until it starts to break these all-time uh, break these resistance zones um, up here, um, especially the ultimate one. Um, it's not really going to fully take off yet. But, you know, find your entries because you know that against the BTC pairing, um, it, it's prime and ready to go. It hasn't gone yet. So LBC library credit. Um, I have a small stash of this. Um, I'm not really too big on them for sure. Um, so I'll skip them. Now, Chainlink. If any of you guys know me, I've been telling y'all to buy Chainlink. Um, I've been telling y'all to buy Chainlink for probably at like eight dollars. Um, I got in at around a dollar fifty or so. Um, I wasn't sure if it, the project was really solid, but this coin should be at a thousand dollars. That, that's all I have to say on that regards. Um, once it starts to, you know, revisit these all time highs and such, um, you know, this $28 price, this price discovery that it's on is nothing in comparison. It really should be at around a thousand dollars. They have a lot of partnerships and, you know, just in its name, uh, it is linking projects with other projects. So that DeFi space I was speaking about, how all of these companies are working with one another to make sure that the, the products that they build are compatible and easy to use for these bankers and corporations that are coming over, the big money that's coming over. Well, each project has its own blockchain and naturally those blockchains don't talk to each other. So that's where Chainlink comes in and Chainlink is the middleman, you know, uh, sending information through and between all of these different blockchain blockchains. And so, if you're a a DeFi project that wants to get in on the action, you need Chainlink in order to connect to the ecosystem. So again, that's usage. That's a use case. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm scaling into this thing over and over again. This is my long-term play. I Unfortunately, I did sell some of these from my dollar entry, but 
no more. Like I'm just accumulating this because it seems like every single day um, they have some new partnership, some new um, you know thing going on. Uh, uh, was it this one? Yeah, they they even have a partnership with Google. It should be this one. Yeah, all of these companies they have partnerships with um, Google Cloud, Oracle, DApps, Matic Network Reserve. So you'll see a lot of other um, uh, cryptos on there. Um, Binance, Bet Protocol, just like just a whole host of partnerships. All of these, and that's because all of these coins they connect through Chainlink. Well, you know, Google isn't a coin yet um but all of these they connect through chain link and so chain link is literally um my long-term hold and it's easy to just go ahead and buy some of these tokens that have partnered with chain link too or at least put them on your radar okay put them on your radar see what they're doing um you know and you you go about you go about your business um but yeah chain link that's going to be a hot project. And so like literally if we go to here yeah at one point Dogecoin was above Chainlink and market cap. What kind of BS is that? Like <laughs> this thing exact, you know, one actually does something and the other is just being pumped by a billionaire. All right, so next one, Litecoin. Litecoin is another OG in the game, solid project. Uh, I don't have the damn BTC chart. That sucks. Let's see how it's doing against BTC. Uh, yeah, it's been pulling back against BTC. So, yeah, still hasn't even fully moved yet. Um, that's how you got to look at it. So put that on your list uh, for Litecoin. Um, you can skip LTO. I mean, LTO kind of, it's been moving, but things kind of, you have this W here. It's kind of leaving the station a bit, but I don't have much, like, I, I'm not bullish on LTO for real, for real, or Loom, uh, Lumiere, whatever. This meme fucking coin shit has been going crazy because of um, the whole thing with Dogecoin. But this thing had value, as you can see. This thing had lots of value because from current price to all-time highs is 22,000%. We could easily see that. Um, shoot, the low here in October is $100. It's at 800, it's at 8X, not too shabby. Um, so Maker, I'm, I'm only trying to focus on projects that are you know, good projects long-term. Maker is one of those. There's a very low supply of Maker tokens. Um, oh, it's the same chart. Um, but against USD, making all-time highs crazy. Um, I got a maker at 500 bucks, so not quite the bottom, but um, yeah, this, this is doing pretty well. Uh, and it has yet to do anything fully against Bitcoin. It hasn't broken the all-time high yet against Bitcoin. So once it does, all right, one, once it does, this thing is going to fly. You can see one maker at $10,000, $20,000, easy. So Melon, get that on your radar. I can tell you that for sure. This thing has been performing ridiculously. I got in around here at this range. Um, I got tipped onto it and just bought it out of just buying. And it turned out pretty well for me. Um, already got a double out of it. And once I started doing more research behind it, this is a really good project. Still at the bottom pretty much against Bitcoin. So this USD move to 54 is nothing considering that it has yet to break 
you know, price discovery. And if you was on my first call, like you'll see a pattern that these coins, yeah, they'll do very, very well against USD, but they won't do the big, big jumps until they break all time highs with BTC. So that's the that's the same pattern here. So if you see a coin has yet to break all time highs against USD, then yeah, it has yet to, you know, that money didn't flow into it yet. Okay. So let's look at Morpheus. Morpheus took off against Bitcoin. So on the USD side, took off. Um, I missed my entry on this. I actually do not have any of this token and I am pissed. So I'm just waiting for an entry or so. Um, especially with Bitcoin moving up, I'm I'm waiting to see where where things are going. Um, but it seems like it's kind of holding its own up here. So um, I would love to get it around this, you know, four maybe five thousand range. Um, but it's at seven thousand, and you know, I'll, I'll just make my proper. I'll probably take some profits into it. With Morpheus, though, get that on your your radar. Um, that's going to yeah that's going to do really well in the future okay so um ntv so this is that wrapped uh tesla token um <laughs> so they're doing these now they're wrapping they're uh adding these these uh, stocks onto crypto and it's not necessarily the stock itself you know not to get too technical behind it but it's essentially just a copycat of a stock onto the cryptocurrency space um, you see what's going on with Tesla and everything so this, this may not be too far-fetched that the whole company goes to a tokenized structure and you actually have to buy Tesla tokens as shares to the company. So um, don't be surprised if we end up going that route um, because, where was that? Yeah. So for those that had just joined, one, they got Elon all over this, but we saw this, this Model 3 token. But the thing is, there's already a circulating supply. Um, hold on. How many Teslas have, wait, I need Model 3s, right? I can't even fucking type because I'm like, how is this motherfucker on here? How many Tesla ones do you use? I want to know total. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this. So, either way, something's coming up um, since this is on Corn Market Gap. Another thing too, when you guys are on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko, get in the habit of going into these little tabs. So this is the DeFi tab. These are all DeFi tokens. And I can tell you that literally every single one of them will make you money. Um, 